Right, good evening, ladies and gents. Hope you're doing good. Hope the day has been going well for you so far. Appreciate you jumping on this call for this evening. So, you know, not necessarily titled this as a trading basics call, so to speak, because um, not, some of these isn't, but it is, it is quite a basic thing to understand generally, uh, but it's some of the things that some people ultimately uh, will miss within their trading journey and not even fully understand that this is something that you can come to terms with and put together. And it really sits on the side of really you planning and journaling and setting out how you can actually improve your skill set uh, going forward with this. So what I'll do, I'll just jump straight into the information. We're going to go through three uh, main elements of this call this evening. So we're going to go through we're going to go through the compound plan. So that's going to allow you to understand how you can actually compound your trading account over time. And it's going to really give you that long term vision on what you can actually do with it. Um, we're going to break it down on you starting with an account, uh, you know, maybe a lower amount or wherever it is, you know, wherever an account is right now, a lower amount, higher amount, and how you can compound that over time using your correct risk management, following the compound compound plan through. And that's going to enable you to build up that account over time. The second thing we're going to come on to, we're going to go over the confirmation checklist. Uh, so this can be on the simple side. And it can not necessarily be complicated, but there could be more confirmations that you can add uh, to your to ultimately your trading and confirmation checklist uh, to just make it a lot more mechanical, a lot more rigid. And also just just to make sure uh, you're, you're hitting your confirmation basically before you actually enter the market. So it's allowing you to think uh, through all the confirmations there. So that's the second one we're going to cover. And then thirdly, I'm going to cover uh, is the journal inside. So this is you, you know, how to actually record your trades, what you can be looking for before and after uh, and all everything like that. So let's just get ripped into it, guys. Let's start off by uh, taking you through the compound plan here. Let me just let this person in and then we'll get going with it. So let's just close some of these down that we don't need. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys. So, yeah, let's start off with the compound plan. Let's go have a breakthrough on this and go through this step by step all right so you know this is the website that you can actually utilize uh, to put together your compound plan let me just put this in the chat now uh, so you guys have got that there and what else i remember so you know starting off your trading account so say you know you was just you know absolutely brand new you know one week ago two weeks ago whatever it would be and you're transitioning maybe out of your demo account and you're coming to a point where you want to start with your live trading account uh, but you want to use a compound plan to actually track this and monitor ultimately what you're doing on a weekly and a monthly basis. So this, let's start off with the initial capital amount in your account. Say you want to start off that with just, just say a £200 set. All right, so that's the figure that you put in there. Of course, at the top, select the currency uh, that you're going to be working with. And then we put the initial principal balance amount. And then from there, it's going to be what the interest rate is on your account. So if your goal is to, you know, grow your account 5% per week, and that is going to give you around, say, a 20% month, then that's the value that you're going to put in there. You know, if that is, you say you're aiming for 2.5% a week, that's going to give you around a 10% month. That's fantastic. So, you know, tailor that there to some of your targets and your, and your objectives. And ultimately, look at how well you've been doing with your demo account already. All right. So if you're on your demo account, look, already you're doing the five percent a week your seven percent a week your ten percent a week you can use that as a guideline and moving on to your live account all right and the best way that i've always approached it is don't set yourself a huge huge well yes set set big goals with your trading accounts but don't set yourself up to do straight away like you know big numbers like 40 50 percent months because yes you may be able to compound that at the start when you're on the lower side but as that accounts get bigger and bigger it's not necessarily going to be realistic for you to 40 percent 50 percent your account within every single month that you go through so you know set that an amount that it's going to work for you and then as time goes on if you're hitting over that threshold then you can adjust your target and your compound plan with that so let's stick on the five percent per weekly give us around the 20 percent per month now i've put this in a certain amount of days so if you want to take that note down and follow yours through pretty much to the end of the year, that's roughly where you're going to be at on the days. With the weekends, I've clicked that as no, so I'm not including my weekends. Uh, and they're going to be taken away from, from the time. And then the reinvestment amount is basically, so with this account, you start with the 200, you're doing, the, doing say, the 20% months. 
you're going to reinvest all of that, ultimately that capital back in to the next month and lead that over. All right. So what that means is you're not taking that capital out. You're just leaving it in there. All right. So, you know, leave it on the hundred percent mark. And then as your account is building, then if you want to take that out over time, then of course you can do that as well. All right. So the additional deposits, what I put on here initially is 50 pound there. All right. So at the end of every month, you can put in an additional 50 pound at the end of that month. And that will allow you to, you know, increase your income alongside what you do with your compounding. All right. So, you know, we started on the, you know, basically the start of the account on, on initial starting now, 200 end of the month up. So that 20 percent with that account would be at around 240. All right. The 240 plus to 50, that's going to be at around 290. So that account is going to compound and from there. All right. So now we're going to click calculate, of course, select the date. Uh, that you actually, you know, you're obviously starting this on. So let's come come back to a little bit of these numbers here. So this is this is how the compound plan is going to look step by step. So you know, this is ultimately the earnings we're going to look to achieve on this specific date here. All right. So you know, 14th of January is tomorrow. So for us to be within that five percent per week, this is the monetary value that we need to look to gain within that day. All right. Now. What is ultimately quite important with this and what I've noticed about my journey is not fixating ultimately a monetary value to do in a specific day. All right. Because that can lead you to chasing to, to gain a specific number in a day, a monetary value. So the best way to do it is ultimately look for that weekly target. All right. So say if who's leading into next week on the 200 by the end of that week there, 21st of January, we're going to look to have around 208 pounds in that account there. All right. So from that 208, eight, 208 uh, pounds in that account, that's going to give you that 5% per week there. All right. But obviously it's not quite that, obviously that 5% because we had some of it from the previous week there as well. All right. So, you know, as we flick through it. So, yes, when you're starting, it is, you know, it's going to be somewhat slow. All right. If you've got a small account, then you aim for the 5% a week. Yes. You know, it's not, you're not maybe going to be jumping up and down straight away. Well, you, well, you may be because you've actually shown yourself that you can do it on your live account. You can duplicate what you're doing from your demo. So yeah, celebrate the small wins as you go. But, you know, I understand as you're going through at the start, you know, on the 17th, you know, 144 that day, 145, 146, 147. But it's compounding slowly. So by the end of that at week there, you've put eight pounds in total earnings in your account. All right. The next week goes by. 16 pounds has been earned so far. Next week, 25, 35, 45. So slowly, gradually, you're starting to build up that account. And yes, you're looking at, say, the first quarter up to up to sort of March, March, April. Yeah, pretty much March, you know, is it is, you know, fairly slow going at the start. You know, whereas we started out with 200, but the end of March, yeah, okay, so we're still around 400. But, you know, slowly by surely, as the compound plan is working and you're reinvesting that, we're holding that in there and continuing to compound it, you know, literally by the end of sort of that, that Q2 there. So that's going to bring us to April, May, sort of June time. All right. So the end of June, you know, you're starting to beef it up. And this is just you being consistent, you not rushing the process, you know, you doing what you need to do with your account and literally following your plan there. So, you know, we finish up that year. All right. That is, you know, us literally adding, you know, 50 pounds at the end of every month. You, all right, you see those deposits. So at the end of that year there, that's where your account is going to be at. Starting from the 200, that's where it's at. Adding that 50, 50 pound per month at the end of that there. So, you know, 2,700 pounds there. All right. So. Put some ones in the chat. So who would be happy with that? If you start in your account, literally today, £200 or wherever it's at, and then by the end of the year, you're at 2700 putting in £50 a month there. Who would be happy with that? Put some ones in the chat. All right, Scott's in there. Yes, Iden's in there. Fantastic. So yeah, some ones in the chat. So yeah, Jack's in there. Jack, awesome, Lee. All right, fantastic. So that's where you're at at the, at the first year. All right, but you've got to think. This is just one of your portfolios, right? You've got your crypto as well. You've got your business that you're developing. You've got your NFT. So this is just one of the income streams that you have. You know, yes, if you're locking in on this, that's fantastic. So let's take that figure there now. Now let's compound it into the next year that we go on. So say at this point there now, you've now hit this amount. And this was you putting in £50 per month of that year there. So you've proven to yourself that you can run that compound plan through for that 12-month cycle. 
So now what about you go into the following year and you actually decide, you know what, I'm going to put in £100 per month extra from my cryptocurrency portfolio, from your savings, from your job, from your other business, so to speak. And then let's take that monetary value and then let's start the compound plan again. All right. Let me just scroll up. So we keep the days the same. The initial capital that we're going to start with, we're going to adjust that now. And we're going to change it to the value that we had at the end of the 12 months. So now let's do a slight adjustment. So we're now adding £100 at the end of every month. It's still reinvesting the same amount there. All right. So here we go. Let's let it work out. OK, so there we go. Starting the 2000 there, you know, we literally finish, finish the end of January. We're at 3000 there. Finish, you know, the end of Feb. We're at 3500. You know, we get to six months in. All right, let's get to the six months. Let's get to end of July. So we're at 8000. All right, so we started it at just over 2000 there. And now that account is at 8000 by halfway through the year. All right. And then we're going to get down to the end. So there we go. So the end of your second year in within your account now, that's at 19,000. All right. So can you see the effect of your compound plan? And us starting from that 2000, you know, we're taking up to 19,000 within that year. All right. So it, it just it literally just compounds. I know it sounds crazy, but it's literally, you know, as simple as that. You know, the account is just snowballing the snowball and get a builder and builder and builder. And as your skill set grows, there's no reason to say that you can't up your target on your percentage growth on your account per week and also your deposit amount because your confidence is growing and growing in it so say for example now instead of you know that five percent per week say we up that to 7.5 percent per week now all right that's giving you around 28 percent month and for that now you move that up to 150 all right so again we're starting from 2700 let's just work that out you literally saw the figure there. So there you go. So that was the settings. If we run it on the second year now, investing 150 a month and up in it in terms of our percentage growth per week. All right. So who would be happy with that? After your second year of in trading, putting in 150 pound a month, compounding your account around 7%. That's what you're going to be at, 40, 48,000. Who, who'd be happy with that? One, one, one's in the chat if you are. Joe's happy with that. Scott, Brad, I don't, yeah, fantastic. So you know, there you go, guys. And then let's just use this example now to really show you what's possible with it. All right. So you got to think you're in your trading journey two years now. Whilst this is going on, you're learning, you're getting better, you're developing yourself, you're developing everything else around you with your portfolio. So it's all going off you. So now let's roll this into the third year now and see where we're at at the end of that third year. All right. Let's even. Let's even just take this back down to your 5% and look at, say, not even putting it in a monthly deposit there now. All right. Let's see where it's at. All right. So there you go. So end of your three years there, you've now got just over a quarter of a million in that account, 290,000. All right. And that's not you doing anything special because the past two years, the first year, you was doing 5% per week. You're 20% per month, roughly. And then the second year, we used doing 7.5% uh, within that week. And yes, as sometimes your capital can get bigger, not necessarily it makes it harder for you to hit that percentage growth, um, but it's some other things you're, you're, you're conscious of. You know, it is, it is somewhat of an emotional journey of you passing certain walls and barriers. And your personal development is going to help you do that there. But look, that 5% now per week within your third year, not depositing anything else into that account, but after the third year, there you go, quarter of a million. So again, who would be happy with that? You know, who can see that long-term vision? Put some one one in the chat again. If you're happy with that, after your third, three years of trading there, quarter of a million there, all right? And Rory, guys, real quick, mate, real quick. I want you to just do this exact same scenario. Start with 200 pound again. Okay. I've just done this exact training today and I just want you to see the difference. So the exact number there was what? Scroll down real quick. So we're looking at this now, 290 grand. So I want you to scroll up. So remember that number, 290 grand. Now what I want you to do is picture this, that we've helped you get your two and three. So now your additional deposits, this is how I teach the compound plan real quick. Yeah, so it. that there is phenomenal. But let's say we've now got you two and three. You're saving 200 quid a month. So your additional deposits, you're 200 quid. So we're teaching you to become a business builder. We're teaching you to understand, keep it at 5%. Now run that up. 
right? So now you're at seven grand month one, but that's just you two and three. So copy, copy the profit. So you're now at seven grand. This is you just being two and three all year, right? Yeah. But let's say we then get you to platinum 600, which is a business builder. You've now got 480 pound a month extra that you can put in. You're still doing the same. This is year two now. End of year two, you're at 59 grand. Now you've developed some leadership. You've developed some growth. You've developed some business builders. You've developed some runners around you. This is going into year three. You're now a platinum 2000. You can put an extra 12 to 1500 pound in there. Let's say 1400 quid as a minimum. Calculate that. You, you, it's, the numbers are insane. And that's with 5%. Was that year two? Was that year two or year three? That one. That's just finished three years there now. Yeah, yeah I believe. And that's and that's and that's on basically on five percent a, a week, you know. And as you get better and as you get stronger, I think the one that I did on there was was based on in year. So if you if you scrap it back to two hundred pound again and watch it, watch the difference here. So two hundred pound, but in let's say in your first ninety days, we help you go P six hundred. You've now got four hundred and fifty quid that you can put in every month. Calculate that. So you're at 15 grand. So copy and paste 15,335. Let's say year two, you get a little bit better. You get to 7.5% a week. So you get to 7.5% a week. You're getting a little bit better. Your crypto portfolio is buzzing. You're now a P1000. You've got an extra 750 quid a month. Calculate that. We're now at quarter of a mil, year two. Year two, copy and paste that. You've got a little bit better. You're at 8.2% or 8.5%. You're getting a little bit better every single year. You're now a P2K. You've got 12 to 1300 pound a month. Game over. Game over. That's it. Mad. Never Was it after three years, right? You never, you, go, guys. you never need to work a day in your life ever again. Not at all. After Five three million. years, just by sticking to the compound plan, following yeah. the percentages through, sticking with your process, after three years, we're on the beaches and yachts, guys. Simple as that. So, you know, that's just how powerful it is. And this is why I wanted to show you this. So you, you can you can create that long-term vision with, with your process and stick that through. And this is what it's all about. You start set, reset yourself today. Now, I've, I've dropped the link in there. Bring it up if you've not set one of these out already. Set yourself at the 5%. Just deposit your, your 50 a month for now or wherever you're going to be at. And there we go. And then that's, that's, that's your spreadsheet that you're going to stick to. And then as, yes, if you're developing the business as well, let's get you two and three. Let's put your, basically your membership, put in that, put it in with your, you know, putting, add, actually adding in, you're at the end of every month now, topping it up. So then it will start to compound. So, you know, see the vision of it, guys and just utilize that plan there, all right? So let's move on to the confirmation checklist now. So with this one, I put through almost two lists because uh, I know we've got different types of uh, almost abilities and people at different stages in their journey, which is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, let's just go through a simplified checklist that you can utilize to so say, you know, you just started, you're a month in, you want to some, you know, literally follow five to six steps every single day, you can like, utilize this, all right? So, you know, you're not taking your own trades at, at the minute now. You know, yes, you can be analyzing a few pairs or cryptos, whatever they are. Um, but yes, utilize the education that's there. All right. So this can be your first um, almost checklist and your confirmation that you can tick off. All right. You know, has an educator sent a trade to the platform or an app? So, you know, where have you received the trade from? You know, have you just seen it you know, randomly out there on the Internet or is it you know, you're actually on a live session? Has it come through to the Swipe Coin app? Has it come through on the Steady app? Has you know one of say the Flight Club educators, so to speak, put it in the Trade Ideas group? All right, so so know the place where you've got that trade from, and that can be a confirmation on your checklist. All right, number two, now have you drawn out the trade? So it's all well and good just you know receiving them through on Swipe Coin and Steady, and placing them. And yes, if if you're busy and you're at work and you don't have time to say. Draw it out and trade with you. Of course, of course, still do that. We want you copy and paste and we want you placing these trades and developing your accounts. But within your confirmation, you go, look, 
do I have an extra one minute to actually draw this trade out? And it's going to be very, very simple where you're literally just on where you're just literally on your trading view on your phone or on your laptop. All right. So I've seen it on SwipeCoin. It's sent out. It's told me, you know, where we're taking the buy on Ripple from. It showed me the stop loss. It showed me the take profit. Now I'm going to place that trade. All right. So that's one of the confirmations. That's number two. Number three. Now, do you like the look of that trade? All right. So if you're looking at that, does it make sense to you? OK. Does it make sense from the education that you've got? OK. You can see that down here there's a liquidity sweep. You can see you've got structure over here. You know, we're looking on the higher time frames. You know, can I see this trade pushing back up to these higher levels of structure? You know, does, does that make sense? You know, does that literally make sense there? OK. So so do I like that trade? That's that's the third confirmation. Yes, that wants to be yes that you like that trade. You know, number four, am I willing to risk one to two percent on my account for this specific trade? All right, and that answer needs to be yes as well. Because if you don't necessarily have confidence in that trade and you don't have confidence in the educator sharing it with you, then you don't want to place that trade because you want to have confidence in it and what you see um, is basically you know what is there on the market, so to speak. All right. Um, let's move on to step number five. Now, have I set my SL entry and take profit correctly? Now, this is a big one. This is a really, really big one because you want to make sure your parameters are going to be set before you before you place a trade. Yeah. And because this is going to line up with your risk management on your account. You want to be risking uh, the right amount as well. OK, so you want to know what the stop loss is. Yeah. So, you know, it's the bottom of the red number. Have I put that incorrectly? Yeah, the take profit. Are you shooting for a TP3? If so, make sure you get that down correctly. Is my entry right? I'm doing a market execution. I want to get into the market where it is now. Fantastic. So all of those, there, there you go. There's your confirmations for that. You've met those. Take the trade. As simple as that. All right. So that's the simple checklist. Uh, I did want to go on to one that's not necessarily advanced, but this is this is ultimately a checklist that I follow through when I'm taking my trades. All right. So let's start it off from the top. Firstly, this one is about the news. All right. So so is there no high impact news on this currency pair around when I'm looking to execute this trade? All right. So I'm looking at a US dollar. Is there red high impact news on Forex Factory? Yes, there is. OK, then I don't want to I don't want to take this trade around that trading window when I know we've got NFP at 1.30 and I'm looking to trade the US dollar pair at 1 p.m. All right. So that's one of the first confirmations. Number two, uh, is this trade within the overall trend direction of the trend? So i.e. is the market bullish or bearish? And am I following along with how the trade is setting out? Sorry, how the trend is setting out. So this is this is a ballpark figure that I like to work from. John Dolly speaks about this massively. Trade and 80 percent continuation. So going with the trend and then 20 percent reversal. Yeah. So let's jump over to Ripple because we're going to be focused on this currency pair tonight. All right. So I'm on the daily. Am I trading with the overall trending direction? So I'm on the daily. I can see this is bullish. So me taking a buying opportunity will line up with that. All right. So, yes, as we scale down, you will see different trends within that. All right. But you look in on what the high time frame is doing. And this is just ultimately the confirmations that I ask myself. Yes, there will be some, of course, within that 20%, there will be the reversal because we're looking to take cryptos to the upside now. So buying opportunities are favorable. All right. So that's one of the confirmations there. That is literally number two. All right. Number three, am I trading off an institutional candle or a specific institutional area? Yeah. So if some of you literally don't know what institutional candles are, all right. So us literally having a downwards candle before the upwards move that can be classed as an institutional candle all right so as we are literally popping and trading in with this one this is known as an institutional candle yeah where we're trading the market down to create this upwards move here all right so we can be marking that out there's the 50 percent in line with that 50%. So we are trading within that institutional candle. So it would be favorable and it would make sense 
for us to potentially have a reaction from that institutional candle. So there's one of the confirmations there that we can look to take that up. All right. So there's that one, number three. Now let's move on to number four. Now, has an imbalance level been reacted off or has it filled in an imbalance area there? All right. Yes or no? Has it done that? So let's jump back over to Ripple and see if we can see an imbalance on it. All right. Let's see if we can see a specific imbalance. All right. Very small one there. Nevertheless, it's still there. All right. Wick to the wick on the other side. All right, filled in that imbalance, price is pushed up to the upside. All right, still yes, okay, in a retracement phase, but that's what you're looking for in the, in the imbalance. That could be one of your confirmations that you set up. All right, so these are smart money concept, institutional style. Yes, it all depends on how you trade. Uh, but these are some of the things that I'm looking at day to day. All right, again, similar, we use this within the basic one. You know, have I set my SL, my TP correctly? And have I calculated my risk? We'll come on to calculate risk. But basically, is your lot size correct for you risking one to two percent of your account? If it's not, then you need to go back on the confirmation and make sure that's a tip. Yeah. So your risk is correct. And we know that we've got our stop loss on our TP correct as well. Yeah. So that is a confirmation for us because that's the trade that we're looking at there. All right. We know our stop loss down here. We know our TP. All right. So that is going to be number five. Number six. Uh, so has a pair broken structure to the up or downside on a time frame that I am trading off? All right. So when we look at the breaking structure, we can literally look at this ultimately breaking out. All right. So this is it downtrend in here for us to break structure. This is this is a breaker structure here. All right. So we've got an hourly breaker structure there. All right. So you should be able to see that that shift there. See it shift away, guys. Look, we're downtrending here. All right, created that lower low. Price has pushed up. You know, that's the lower high. Failed to create that lower low. Broke structure, higher high, higher low. All right, so that's the break. We've had that shift to the upside there now. All right, so that's what we're looking for on that specific confirmation. We broken structure uh, to the upside on the time frame that we're trading off, which we're looking at the hourly on this one. So moving on from that, you know, have I traded to a premium or discount of Fibonacci level between 61% to the 88%? All right. So looking at that there, am I in my premium level to take that trade? I've got my Fib. I have that on my low. I take it to my high. There we go. So if we're looking for that shift on the breaker structure, we haven't quite got the Fib confirmation that we want. We've only pulled back to the 50%. Uh, our, our entry zone almost or a confirmation zone we look but by looking at that one is a 61 to the 88 within those deeper retracement levels so but yes that's one of the confirmations i like to definitely see the 61 percent on the pullbacks uh if i'm looking for the institutional entries on that okay so that's one of the confirmations using the fibonacci if you like to utilize that am i, am I within my risk tolerance uh, currently within my active trades. So that basically means, like, look, uh, if it's Thursday already, you've taken two trades, you're 2% down on your account. If your rule is that you only want to be 3% down on your trading account per week, and you don't want to go over that, then look at your risk that you're exposing your account to. Yeah. So you're 2% down already. Do you, do you now want to put on another trade at a 2% risk if you're only 2% down? Well, no, you don't, because you only want to be at a max 3% down per week. If you put in that trade and you're risking 2% and you tap your stop loss down, now you're 4% down for the week. So this is something to consider in your confirmations, and it can slide over to you having a plan with your trading as well. And we're going to cover that on another day as well. So am I 100% confident within this trade? So I'm looking at it. Am I confident with it? Does it meet my confirmations now? I've added up my tick box of those confirmations. Now I'm going to place the trade with full confidence, no matter what the outcome is. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much the confirmation checklist, guys. Um, you could be ranging anywhere between that. You know, if you don't 
necessarily follow all of this right now and you're still going for the education just put together something basic basic it's going to be good practice for you yeah it's going to be really good practice uh, so you're, you're you're following something you're being methodical you're following a plan uh, and that's going to you know it's going to stand you in good stead going forward so that's a confirmation checklist there you know just as a guideline these can be the questions that you can have on the basic one all right let's just put that in there now it may not go perfectly on the layout but that's just something you can follow and you know what if you want to just take a quick photo of that you can can uh, and that's absolutely fantastic all right so let's move on to the journal inside here all right so so this is the educational journal all right so with this there uh, this is going to allow you to journal your trades so starting on the left hand side you're going to firstly jot down what currency pair that you're looking at so for this you know we're going through a lot of ripple and xrp usd today which is good and we're just using this as an example so that's the pair we're trading we're looking to either take it long or short so long being we're going to buy the trade short meaning we're going to sell the trade to the downside you know when is the entry date you know when did we actually place this specific trade um, when you've, you know first opened it when was the exit you know date of that trade so we can open it on the 11th which would have been what would have been tuesday and we'd have closed it on the friday with the 14 there so the stop loss in pips so we're going down to the stop loss there and we're taking it off that is literally like 22.7 depending on what broker you're running on so let's just drop that in there so the confluence is for you to take the trade so this this can slide into your confirmations a little bit but what are the what are the confirmations for you to and the confluence is for you to take it all right so you know one can be that a swipe coin educator passed it out you know you've marked up that trade it's broken structure um it's hit your fibonacci level it's in an institutional candle so that can be you've got five confluences and you can put these confluences for you to uh, to follow through uh, to allow you to yeah just literally stick to those guidelines there so say you had four of those we jot them down did you plan that trade all right so did you actually mark it out on your chart you know did you get it from the swipe on educate did you mark it out on your chart have you planned that trade i plan to enter here stop loss tp that is a trade that's planned okay so we're literally going yes we did plan that trade what is the result so this one is a win now what is the result on percentage wise so if we tapped out just short of the tp3 all right so we would have been let's just tap this down very slightly so there we go 3.7 percent on your account so that is the result on that 3.7%. Now, now this is where some of the detail can come into it. Your before and your after on your screenshots. Okay. So your before, what I like to do is use the replay tool. And like if you've just got the free version, don't know if you can, I think you can do it on some of the time frames, but not maybe all of them. Um, you can use this tool to actually wind back and actually jot down something. Okay. And then down here. This is where I like to put some notes about these specific trades that I take. Yeah, and I this whole this basically this whole journaling process. I like to do this, you know, when the markets are shut or on a literally on a Friday. So late in well, not so much late in the evening, but in the evening time Friday, you know, get it boxed off by like Saturday afternoon. Then you can reset your charts and then plan for the next week. OK, so what what some of the notes on it? So, you know, XRP USD taken from swipe coin. You know, looking for buy, you know, the buy back up at a fib level and support. All right, so you can put a lot more detail in here. Like you can, you can really obviously just journal with it. You know, just describe, you know, what you're seeing on the charts. How did you feel at the time? You know, how did you feel about that trade? Is it at your fib level, your institutional level? Just, just really go to town on everything that you see on it before you ultimately took the trade and then what i like to do now as i'm showing on the hourly i like to actually take that off now and i like to come down to the 15 minute um when i'm on the smaller time frames and i can just just get just get multiple different angles from that trade basically so now we're on the 15 minute now you can comment again on that trade so you know took the trade it reacted from 
say on the lower time frame here we did dip down to come into this lower level and we pushed up to the tp3 this was the overall pip count you know this is what we got back on our account we got literally around four percent on that so yeah just just journal it and document and everything that you're seeing and how that trade went and how you felt about it you can put that down in your journal so so this will be something where you can notice the things you do well and some of your mistakes now as well so if it's very common that every time you journal and you don't wait for the trade to come back to the 50 percent on the fib but you then take it and it doesn't hit your area or you know just just anything that it can be you'll notice things that are changing within your trading over time that allow you to make positive positive changes on that so there we go that is pretty much journaling process so what we do with that so you know we need to put the before on it all right so just make sure it's nice and clean so you can see it and come to the top here where the camera is copy link to the chart and then flick over to where our journal is put the before screenshot on there all right so you got the link there for future use and then flip back again get your 15 minute you're annotated on that one as well and obviously do these one at a time so do your hourly or whatever time frame you like to work from do your before screenshot it put it in you know, reset it uh, and then you know do your journaling on this one as well okay so similar process there there we grab that and then we take it over to the after what you can even do is obviously yeah chuck it up the top just make sure your your link is printing correctly uh, before you jump them straight into that sometimes you'll end up doing your before one twice instead of um printing a new one there all right so yeah that is pretty much the journaling process there guys you know this is you know literally this is the planning stage this is a planning this is the confirmations and this just just building structure and just really good practice uh with your trading there you'll just notice you're coming on leaps and bounds uh by implementing some of this here so it's something that yeah i really would recommend to yeah have a think about and start to process that and if you have any questions on it like more than welcome to put it into the chat now and if you have any other questions or you want some of these templates going forward definitely let me know what i'm going to do uh, is actually put this journal in here as well so you've got the template for that so something that you can literally open up on your own excel or your google uh, docs there and you can actually get running away from it so appreciate your time uh, we'll end this end the recording here